Yo, what's going on guys? It's a new video today. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about about the one year ownership of this truck. I know it's a little bit overdue, about maybe a month and a half or maybe about a month. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the one year ownership of this truck. What I like about it, what I love about it, what I dislike about it, what I wish I can change. And things are still coming that I can change, I'm still going to change. So I just want to go over pretty much everything. I know I've already done some mod updates, but I'm pretty much in this video going to go over everything. I want to tell you guys everything because I've still been getting comments on stuff that I've done to my truck. What exhaust do I have? Why is my exhaust so loud? And I'm going to talk to you guys all about that today. This is just the intro. I'm going to get pick you guys up back in a little bit because I am driving in a bunch of traffic right now. That's a dope GMC. Fuck yeah. Like I said guys, I don't compete to trying to like cause problems bro he ain't even trying to raise he's getting away from me right now bro i don't even i'm not even gonna waste my time on that shit bro Duh. all right guys so right now i'm actually on my way to a truck meet that's going on in here in the local area it's actually about an hour drive away from me up with one of my buddies on instagram that i've met over over the past year or so that i met through youtube through instagram and I'm gonna go meet up with him right now to go to his truck meet. We're actually gonna go to two different truck meets, guys. So hopefully that is actually interesting. I've never actually been to these truck meets over here, so. Another thing, guys, is that my buddy has a dope ass truck, guys. He recently put like um, stripes down the middle. I'm just gonna let you guys see the truck for yourselves. Um, I'll put his Instagram here in the screen right here so you guys can go give him a follow. Tell him I sent you. Um, go give him a follow, guys. Uh, follow my Instagram too while you're at it. Give us both a follow. We're gonna be hopefully working on some more projects soon. Go give my boy a shout out. Go give him a follow and let him know I sent you. And I'm gonna show you guys this truck right now and let you guys get a good, good view of this truck because he recently changed up quite a bit on this truck. I actually do really like his truck a lot. Like it actually stands out and is unique and different. And he actually did one of the mods that I'm I'm planning on doing pretty soon. And I already got into contact with the same person he got it done with. So guys honestly i have a bunch of mods still coming and a bunch of mods that i'm actually really excited about so stay tuned for that guys i'm gonna get into the video right now i'm gonna get into the things i love about my truck that i've loved over the past year or so and let you guys know what i love about the truck if i would buy it again and all this other stuff so let's get into the video guys all right guys so this might be a little basic i mean honestly this truck hasn't disappointed over the past year i really have loved everything about this truck honestly truly everything about this truck i've loved there has been a few minor things here and there that i wish could be different or that could be they could be improved i guess you can say and some of those things can be improved with just buying the right modification so that's why i don't blame the actual truck too much on that everything about the truck has ex has met my expectations or exceeded them by far the engine guys number one is the engine the engine i love it's an amazing ass engine um wouldn't trade it for anything else honestly that's one of the main deciding factors on why i got this truck specifically because it had the 5.7 heavy wouldn't get it any other way so number two guys um number two is basically the appearance i know i told you number one was the engine two is the appearance like i said the appearance is timeless honestly if you mod modify these trucks you can modify these trucks to your liking you can make these trucks your own and that's what i love about these trucks is 
is that a RAM, you can customize a lot of things about it and make it your damn own. Like there's so many different unique parts of a RAM that you can change up and there's so many, the good thing about these RAMs is that there's so many aftermarket parts for these trucks. So you really do find a lot of these aftermarket parts for these trucks out there. Like you can find interior pieces, interior trims, you can find fenders, you can find spoilers, you can find hoods, you can find everything you can think of, you can find for this truck and that's what I love about this truck because it's basically like a blank canvas when you buy it and that's basically what I was thinking when I bought my truck. I was going for a good canvas and I actually got the night so which made it dope because it was all blacked out already and then I made it my own guys. That's why I'm telling you the appearance is something I really do love about these trucks. Before, look there goes a, a ram right there. Super nice. I'm telling you guys, you see a ram and you automatically like your head turns to them. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me, there's a dope ass Corvette. But maybe it's just me, but I see a ram in town or anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. And I absolutely, it's the most beautiful thing ever. It's, rams are just absolutely, absolute head turners guys. So that's one thing I love about them is that they grab people's attention, especially when you start modding them up, kind of like how I've already made mine. And you guys are gonna see my buddy's truck in a little bit. So I hope you guys like his truck. He went for the lowered, uh, race truck type sense which I absolutely love like don't get me wrong I love that sense I'm just a more lifted type of guy that's why I lifted my truck but you guys are gonna see this truck in a little bit tell me what you guys think about it and yeah we're gonna get on to number three on, of this list alright guys so number three honestly I'm just trying I'm just being very nitpicky right now because I have to basically come up with some things that I love about the truck I'm being 100% honest with you guys when I tell you I really do enjoy everything about the truck. There hasn't been a thing that I, I don't like about this truck. Um, there is a little things here and there, but like I said, most of them are changeable. I can get them changed, I can get them done. It's not a big deal. So that's what I'm saying for the most part. It's not a big deal that some of these things are come factory. But yeah guys, there's just really not much that I don't like about the truck, the engine, the appearance, everything about it, the practicality, I, their bed, but that's basically it for what I love about this truck, it's basically everything. Um, I can't really get into much detail about it, I've tried to get into some detail about it, but it's just, I can't get into very much detail. I love everything about the truck, how I stance my truck, how I made my truck, I lifted it, I've added all these customizations, I just love my truck, even when it was stock, I loved it. There were a few things that I changed because I wanted to make it my own, but this truck just all around in general are just amazing ass trucks. I highly recommend them to anybody in the market for them. All right, now to get into the video that I really had to go down and nitpick the little things here and there. There's maybe one or two things that actually do bother me, that actually do bother me, but like I said, those can be changed. Um, other than that, I'm gonna really get really nitpicky on this part of the video because there's not much I don't like about this truck, guys, and I'm being honest with you. I'm not just saying that because it's my truck and I have to live with it every day, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so number one, guys, is the tan roof or gray, whatever you want to call it. I just don't like this roof at all. It's so disgusting. I don't understand why, like, if everything else is blacked out in this truck, literally even the interior, everything is blacked out, even just for those little gray pieces here and there, they could have gone with a black roof liner. And that's, that's just being completely honest with you guys. I don't know why they ended up leaving this ugly roof liner in here, but I plan on changing out all the all the parts that you see are tan, guys. I plan on changing out all those, so that's why I'm saying it's not a big deal, but that's one thing I really don't like about this truck is the roof liner. Number two is the MDS. I don't like the MDS at all. Hate it with all my, all my well-being. I know it's supposed to try to save gas or whatever it's supposed to do. Like, like right now it's in eco mode because obviously I'm on the highway. No point in, in even changing it. But I hate it when I'm driving in town because it's so horrible. I turn it. I have to turn it off all the time. Don't get me wrong. But there's just I just don't like it at all. When, especially because I do most of my driving in town. So it's always switching on and off, which makes the truck feel really, really. How can I say it? Laggy, really like unresponsive. Like let's say if you were to step on the gas and it's in eco mode, it's gonna take a bit to re-engage back into its V8 mode, and then it's gonna take off. So I really don't enjoy that. It's not an instant response, which doesn't make me a huge fan of it because the MDS is so fucking horrible. The MDS is not a great technology. I guess it is for some of you guys, but I have read that it makes that it does cause some sludge buildup in the four cylinders that aren't being used. Maybe that's a lie, maybe that's the truth. 
maybe if you're on the highway a lot it wouldn't bother you that much and even at that like I said you can turn it off manually but there's no real button you have to kind of finesse your way to get it done because not not everybody who gets this truck will know how to turn it off that's for sure and I promise you that if some older gentleman gets in here that doesn't really understand the truck as much and doesn't like the MDS doesn't really understand what it means or what it's what it's doing um, he's definitely gonna feel that the truck is way more sluggish way more way more unresponsive in town compared to just a truck without MDS just a truck with a straight eight cylinders running full-time go ahead and get on to number three guys which isn't a big deal but like I said it could be fixed so let's get on to it all right guys so number three number three and this ain't a big deal this is just government factors government regulations I guess government regulations procedures whatever is that this truck cuts off at 105 which whenever I'm, I'm stepping on the gas when I'm at a racetrack or whatever it cuts off at 105 and I really don't like that but like I said it could be fixed with a tuner I could just get the, the governor off take the governor off and get this truck to whatever the top speed is we're gonna get on to the rest of the video because that's really the, pretty much everything I don't like about the truck guys so pick you guys up in a little bit all right guys I basically already said this and answered this kind of but the last thing I want to talk to you guys about for the one year review on this truck is if I had the opportunity to buy it all over again knowing everything I know now about the truck would I buy it again going through every uh, thing that this truck has put me through hasn't given me any issues at all over the past year um, would I buy it again honestly a hundred percent I would I straight up would this truck has been nothing but good to me like I've said um, all of you guys seem to appreciate the truck and love the truck I get insta messages and uh, personal messages comments from you guys like crazy on my YouTube and Instagram that you guys love the build that you guys are in for the build watching the build every video I put up you guys are there watching to see what changes on this truck a lot of you guys recognize the truck a lot of you guys are maybe from the same area as me but a lot of you guys seem to really like the truck I really would buy this truck again not just simply for the fact that all of you guys like it just simply for the fact that simply for the fact that I really do love this truck so pick you guys up in a bit
guys so before this video ends I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about what I spoke to you guys about at the beginning talking to you guys about giving you guys an update or just the overall list of everything that I've done to the truck as in the mods how much I've paid for the truck so far so I'm gonna talk to you guys about all that about everything before this video ends alright guys so I'm at a stop sign right now I'm gonna put you guys down I'm gonna read off my phone guys I had to put you down for this reason but I'm gonna read off my phone just because not everything will come to mind as I'm speaking it. I have to really look at the list. I wrote down the list on my notes, so I'll get you guys a list of everything that I've put on my truck so far. And I'll probably, if I have time, maybe put it up on the screen. If not, I'll just speak it out to you guys right now. I'm not going to go in any chronological order, guys. I'm just going to give the mods out to you guys as I wrote them down. So, so the mods for this truck include the oil catch can, the K&N intake, the, I had a leveling kit on this truck which is now replaced by a 4 inch lift kit so I've had the leveling kit on the front and I got that taken off when I got my 4 inch uh, lift kit installed so I've had both of those currently have the lift kit 33 inch Toyo RT tires which I switched out from the factory ones and I also got new wheels which are 20 by 10 Moto Metals the style number or whatever I'm not too sure guys I'm really not aware I just went to the shop and I saw them and I loved them so I picked them out I'm not really too sure on what they're called or what the style ID is but hopefully if you guys are interested in the wheels you guys can find them at your at the website or even at your local wheel shop I've also tinted out all the the windows I have the eyebrow tint on the front I'm not gonna pick you guys up because I'm driving in town with a bunch of traffic but I have the 5% uh, eyebrow on the front which goes just to about the line so it's just legal I had my both passenger and driver windows um, with 5% tint but I had to get that taken off guys because I was getting literally harassed by the cops every day. I, there was a week where I got stopped three days in a row because of my tents. After that third stop guys I had to get rid of the tent because I really wasn't going to be putting up with getting stopped every single time. I have that in 5% tint also because obviously in the back you can put it however dark you want there's just nothing wrong with it. Now continuing on with the mods guys, I have the tinted tail lights and the third brake light tinted also. Um, I believe that's 25% on my tail lights, but since these tail lights are already come like a bit smoked from the factory, they look super dark. It looks like I have 5% tint on there, which I like. It's dope because it makes the truck look like the tail lights are literally black. I think they're dope. I wouldn't change that like at all. I really like my tail lights being the way they are tinted. Another big mod, guys, that I've done to the truck that didn't come factory and I think should have, but it's no big deal because I got it done already anyways, was the bed liner. I got the bed liner done. If you guys can see... Anyways, I really think that should come factory, but for whatever reason, mine didn't. So yeah, guys, the bed liner is another mod that I really did have to get installed pretty much because I think that's like a must for me. So the next mod that I have in my truck that a lot of you guys have noticed because it really sets my truck apart from a lot of the other trucks is the grill that I have installed. I got that grill installed. I originally had the night grill, which is an all blacked out grill, but I got this grill installed because I really like the way the mesh grill looks. I'm, I'm gonna add some more things to the grill area. Don't think I'm done with that area. All right guys, what's going on? I know my camera just died on me. So I'm using my iPhone right now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video already and just talk to you guys about the last few things that I need to get done with you guys. I know it's been hectic. I've been switching cameras like crazy. I hope you guys don't mind the different camera footages. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get back into the video with you guys and let's go. So next up guys is my after my grill is my exhaust. So I took off the stock two and a half inch piping guys and I got three inch piping to replace that. And when I got it replaced guys, I also got the mufflers and resonators deleted as well. So this truck really is basically straight pipe besides the front cats. And this truck is fucking loud. A lot of people ask me what I what have I done to the exhaust, what my exhaust has, why my exhaust sounds so loud. People can hear me literally from like a block, two blocks away, three blocks away. If I step on it, people can hear me from a long ways, guys, like for real. I was talking to you guys about my exhaust. I have the three inch straight pipe. That's basically what I have. It's a three inch straight pipe from the cat's back. And then I have five inch black tips. So you guys might think I'm joking, but I'm 100% serious when I say I get questions on my exhaust all the time, guys, like literally all the time. People ask me what exactly did I get done to the truck? What exactly? 
is different to the truck. That's basically my setup for my exhaust, guys, and it is super loud. So if you guys are going for something that's really, really loud and basically has no restriction, as it's a three inch straight pipe with uh, five inch tips, that's my exact setup. So if any of you guys were wondering, there you go. That's gonna be it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, subscribe down below, leave a thumbs up, and go follow my Instagram, guys. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,